The destination is less important than the journey. I refuse to set foot on a commercial airline bound for some other city on the same continent when I could experience the same trip on a motorcycle or even in a car. We left Lynchburg in July at the crack of dawn, heading for Wilmington, North Carolina, with a few planned stops on the way, and then to decide our direction with the flip of a coin. Ha, 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 ha. 
Fired up. Clearly the problem is your air filter. You should just not have it on. That's still too high. It's at 1500, turn it down a little bit. About 300 RPM. It says 15. Yeah, I'm saying turn it down about 300. Yeah, it's about down to 1000. sound, right? No wonder it's drinking gas. Where you at? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One more. Keep going. One more. Rev it real quick. What's it at? 12.50. Come down a little bit more. I don't reckon you want to go too much lower than 1,200 with this thing. It sounds pretty fucking feeble. Oh, I'd say that right, sounds that's good. Right about a thousand. Well, I mean, who cares what I read? Yeah. Now let's do it that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear it back here. It sounds okay. Like go ahead. Yeah. Stop that's, like shit. That's, that's what you want. Yeah. The Tank Museum in Danville, only an hour away from home and none of us had ever visited. I assumed wrongly that a place that displayed tanks and weapons of all kinds would be Second Amendment friendly. The security was tighter than Fort Knox. We can all appreciate the fine engineering of the Holy Flamethrower, designed to burn thy enemies to ash in thine mercy. I walk the shadows under the law of a gun And if you see my mama, don't you tell her what I done Cause I live under the law of a gun Your devils will be plenty and your friends there will be few Your heart will go so empty there is just one thing to do Something must have changed, I guess. Dark is the road, and lonesome is the mile. My pistol and my saber do my talking for me now. There's so many victims in my way. Don't know if they will battle good, and all I know is how they had some things I just couldn't help but take. I walk the shadows under the law. See my mama, don't you tell her what I done Cause I live under the law of a gun Your devils will be plenty and your friends they will be few Your heart will go so empty there is just one thing to do When you live under the law of a gun Of a canyon and a grave Well, there ain't no place for me now Nowhere I can belong So strange it is this God-forsaken world 
of mothers and fathers and daughters and sons. I will avenge myself and leave without a word. I walk the shadows under the law of a gun. And if you see my mama, don't you tell her what I done. Cause I live under the law of a gun. Your devils will be plenty and your friends they will be few. Your heart will go so empty, there's just one thing to do When you live under the law of a gun Go live under the law of a gun Go live under the law of a gun We arrive near dusk at our comrade Lombard's house.
We got up early on Sunday morning to beat the crowds out to Wrightsville Beach for a surf and swim session. Red Man's truck broke down for the first time in front of a Starbucks. It wouldn't be the last. Muscle Beach, man. Muscle Beach. Hey, man, people don't get up early on Sunday morning unless they got to. Somebody can do better than that. Do you get solicitation? Yeah, he tried to get a dollar from him. Hey man, you got some money, man? You got some change I could have, bro? Oh, come on, can I get like a drink of that or something, man? <laughs> All right, to a gas station. Way too much of that water. I can't even see the other side, man. <laughs> I don't know, I should have brought my bike out here. Most of us caught our first wave and were instantly hooked. Myself in particular. I've always been an adrenaline junkie.
little out of practice. Places where we can like camp and uh, stuff Park like that. Or? Yeah. PD State Park is inside. It's right across. Three minutes. Two. Well, two hours. I got two hours and three minutes. Are these are these places west of here or yes. south of here? Or? All right. Fucking oh, we've got GPS. We're so fucking fancy. Look here. <laughs> yeah, two hours. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're in Wilmington, which it's over there on yeah on that coast. Yeah, it's somewhere here. It's yeah, it's on the east coast. Okay, if we're the in Wilmington, side. which is near Hemring, the last I checked, yeah. right. Myrtle Beach is here somewhere. Okay, is it? He's talking about going to Forty Mile Rock, which looks like it could be somewhere in here. Well, I think it's rocks, further so north, isn't it? Here? Yeah. Okay, so we'll say Gondolin. Is there a town named Gondolin, North Carolina? It's like Badlands. South Carolina. Like Gondolin, Gondolin, South, South Carolina. Carolina. Um, so, I say here. here's the ocean. Right here. From there over, we don't have a map toucher. It's so. like Kershaw or Karstark or something. Anyway, there's an ocean right here. Well, I'll tell you what else is here. Wilmington is here, where we are now. Also party Fantastic town. seafood and a whole lot of partying. Or we could go out here, sweat our balls off somewhere in the forest. Probably get fucking killed by elves. We're not getting the good fireworks. I want to get the good fireworks, man. I want to like. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to pool our resources to keep this truck running all the way back. To South Carolina had something to do with something that a ten-year-old would really want to do. I was like, why, is there like a whorehouse over there? And no, fireworks and the best donuts this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> oh if, if we want to compromise, PD State Park is two hours away. That's to the west. There's a, it's exactly where we need to go. It's uh, got a fucking lake. We can fucking get some cool fireworks while we're down there. You know what's not in the lake? Cool fireworks. Yeah, but there are there's only one lake that's got lobsters <laughs> in the ocean. Uh, that's like, there's no lobsters in there. Oh, I mean, it's the way there's lobsters right there. Maybe you had a red lobster. I saw like a bunch of them. Pile them in there. Just pick them out of the water. Just throw them out of the water. <laughs> you just ride, ride on up and the take them. I do like goat scraps. Goat scraps? Yeah. yeah goat scraps. El Chico's <laughs> yeah. Alvarez pre suck goat scraps. <laughs> that's our new fucking hipster restaurant in Lynchburg. <laughs> Welcome to El Chupacabra, sir. Uh, I think you will find the menu very simple, as it is only goat, and all our goat Carolina is locally Beach sourced State and Park pre sucked by our Chupacabra away. in the kitchen. It's 19 there. miles. <laughs> what is? Alright, proceed. Okay. Proceed. Option number one will be heads. The heads option. 
is we party in Wilmington, we go to a seafood restaurant, we eat ourselves into a coma, but then we drink ourselves all into the way into a better coma. coma. <laughs> we get a fucking hotel somewhere, or we in camp Wilmington. Out Somewhere near I feel here. like those are probably more expensive well, than well, camping in a smaller town. Sleep on the beach or whatever. Okay, that's heads. Tails is we go and we eat some food somewhere, type negotiable. We fucking start heading west towards Kershaw and we go as far as we fucking feel like going that direction until we hit a fucking hotel that we want to stop at and we see Forty Mile Rock in the morning. All right. Wilmington boys. Woo! So but what we'll do first is we'll eat something and then after we eat if we decide we want to ride we'll fucking ride better hang on to that lucky thing refreshing seafood inside we got an hour and a half we're gonna get out of here we proceeded to eat ourselves into a coma After most of a day working on Red Man's truck and a fresh seafood dinner, they finally hit the road headed west, but we didn't get far. seafood whenever we could have eaten over at Paul's famous hot dogs. They're famous, bro.
that rip it all that you expected it would be? It's not bad. Not bad. How does it compare to a mad croc? I don't feel like I'm out of the yet. Yeah, fuck you. Venom. Are all your dreams fulfilled? It's the drink of champions, bro. Drink of champions? How does it compare to a mad croc? I've never heard of or, or Red Bull gives you wings, but Mad Croc gives you teeth. <laughs> and a scaly carapace. <laughs> yeah. Wild Dover. Burning less fuel? <laughs> no? Should be. How much fuel do you burn? Well, you gotta figure we dump tons of it all over the ground, weren't you? 12 gallons? 90 miles? There's still getting out. I don't want no Chevy you all. We lost Red Man at a traffic circle. I doubled back outlaw Josie Wales style to look for him, but he made it through after all. Stopped just across the South Carolina border. No helmet laws. Air conditioning, huh? Swamp water and shade. Whatever was here, it was awfully small. Not, not much of a motel, eh? Some dark water. Yeah. Reckon that's the tannin from all the uh, cypress. It's all fucking really cool to do. Yeah. That's badass. It's like a walking and bike trail. That's also really fucking cool. Got all that. Uh, all that cool Spanish moss hanging off of it too. Yeah, that's cool looking. My brother said it's got lice in it. It's got what? Lice. I don't believe all of it. Though. Lice in the yeah. Spanish moss? Yeah. Sounds like a load of shit to me. Yeah. Apparently it only grows down here for a reason. What's that? The Spanish moss. You see all kinds of different, less swampy places, though. 
Oh yeah, there's plenty of places there in uh, South Carolina where you're headed toward Myrtle Beach, but it's not a swamp area. It's like woodlands, and not Spanish Oh Boston. yeah, you see it down in Georgia, plenty here, even though it's not swampy. About a big one. Ants are feasting. Yeah, on me. Now there's a bayou feast right there. Oh, look at that crawdad! Up there's a freaking freshwater That's lobster. A fucking big bastard, too. Woo! Here we are, coming out onto 40 Acre Rock. Of 
felt like more than a half mile hike to me. I ain't cut out for this walking bullshit. Some craters here, clearly formed by uh, falling meteorites. Apparently people used to come out here and ride motorcycles and ATVs and four-wheelers on the rock. Kind of deteriorated the surface a little bit and messed up the natural lichens and whatnot, so they put a stop to that. Pretty cool spot though. There's a cave down here too that's worth looking at. There's a waterfall off the front of the cave. Oh yeah, you're on a nice level spot like this, nice and flat. Hey. <laughs> Here's the <laughs> deep goblin cavern at 40 Acre Rock. I seem to recall it being bigger hey, than this. Hey, don't talk shit about my house. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to have a... A resident. A resident. That's the route I was looking That's where for. where I grew up. Besides the spiders and... There seems to be some sort of a strange colored lichen growing <laughs> across <laughs> most of the ceiling of the cavern. I believe the goblins or the na native uh, inhabitants harvested it to make their liquor out of. That's exactly what we did. Or Mormons, because I thought you were making some crazy mountain man thing. And so I responded. It was Mormons, <laughs> in <laughs> fact. <laughs> It was Mormons. It feels better up here, Sam. In the shade? Yeah, from down there. This is cool, this huge freaking like moss bed. Yeah, but it's 100 degrees instead of 150. Where we're at, in the north and west. Dude, you know what's fucking goddamn fucking ridiculous? The fact that we've been fucking driving around and every time we need somewhere to fucking stay, we've looked at every fucking goddamn campsite near us. And we're like, whoa, you can't get in to pay your fee before this time, then you can't camp there. This place has water, but you can't camp at it. Fuck these cocksuckers, man. God, it's so fucking stupid. I know. Okay, that's all shut down. Dude, what about abandoned campgrounds? I don't think they're listed on the map, but uh, I'm all ears. Kings Mountain stops is open to 5 p.m. They do have camp tent camping sites at ten dollars a site. decided to stay the night at Nate's house in Pomeria, South Carolina. Look at the lift. That is fabulous. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm gonna get you in your sleep, you fuck. I don't know if there's a good one. 
just like always. Wow, like his, this hair is pretty fabulous too. Look at this hair. Actually, I feel like I should it's, be wearing it's those perfectly wind shaped. Wind swept hair. Oh, not for Al. It's about where I'm headed. Hey. Hey, oh. Hey. Hey. I'm after some crazy deers, but I would I'll probably some get some, some crazy deers. deers. There's still some uh, like, license. Are they not cold? Like well, not, that's what I'm saying. We need to get there. some crazy ones. Then we can go some lousy ones. Let's go break into that big. No, I can't wait till this can turns into cancer. I've considered that every time I've been here is going into that old <laughs> brewery. <ruin. laughs> way harder than the one I got you. All right, I'm getting you on your sunburned face later. <laughs> it's gonna be satisfying. Just watch the hair. <laughs> Not much of a drinking man. I guess you could say that my love life is not a little hard. Guess I'm a hard man to like. Take a drop of the beer, it's Patty's gear. But I don't know. So How about Mr. Eight 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 Great. I hate everything, and that definitely qualified as something. <laughs> Peter Trevor's really still great. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you do it in a different key. I've heard I worse. I just don't go out of my way to listen to it. Yo, drink some if you can. You're a dirty Irish bastard, drink some of these beers. You got that joint? They'll roll so. Dude, you used to be the guy who would not go to bed till all the alcohol was gone. Now drink some Mickey's Kid. I'm about Red man. Go home. I sled you out into the snow. Yes, I sled you out here to die alone. Yeah. So you try to find your way back home. But the storm's too fierce and you just can't see. How about you? You got that rose bottle? Sir, then you call her name. I just work up here. That one is warmer than the fire. As well, I check the oil fucking <laughs> except the uh, one time since I bought it. I've been running the piss out of the glass. All right, now.
know you hate me. And you, you put up one hell of a fight, and I know you hate me, and you got the right to kill me now, and I wouldn't blame you if you do. But you ought to thank me before I die for grappling your guts and spitting your eyes on the sun and fixing the you suit. And that's all it takes. He starts weeping. He throws down his gun and, like, gives him a hug, and it's like, Paul! Yeah, he probably scratched the finish on it. Probably. Or so got mud on it, because he was talking about it was a muddy street. A lifelong vendetta. His dad then cut, disfigures him for life after abandoning his mom. Tries to kill him by getting the draw on it, doesn't, and then dupes him with some latitude bullshit like, hey, you should thank me for that girl's name. And as he's like, no, you're right, Papa. Bitch. Oh. The little girl is clearly the dad. He left his oh, ugly, horrible mother, horrible mother, mother behind. behind. Was like, here, yeah, I'll leave you something. Here's a piece of shit guitar and an empty bottle. And he throws it and he's like, I'm the fuck out of here. You keep your retarded kid and your ugly fucking kid. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go be a car dealer night. at a muddy saloon in Gatlinburg. That's not even my life. And even that is better than the travesty and the sham of a marriage that we have here. Is that liberating? So, never said they were married. I'm way, going yeah, to assume that they were not. Boss. Danny bit like a mule. Kicked like a mule. Kicked like, like a frog. Like oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you. I wonder, I wonder if his mouth was closed. Could you have held his mouth closed really easily? Probably. He wouldn't he have been able to exactly open it. Like a crocodile. If we were yeah. to take the song literally, and I think, <laughs> we have to. I think the subtext is saying that his dad may have. Some, some kind of, of hybrid crocodile hybrid. Yeah. mule hybrid, like a centaur, yeah. but with the <laughs> rear body of a mule and the upper body of a crocodile. Just the mouth with man's hand, with human hands, though, so you because can draw he had, a gun. He had a gun on him, so it had human arms. Well, just a thumb, a, wow. a thumb and a hook. Just a thumb and a, the, the rear body, the lower portion of the mule. I think we're going to take it with yeah. Just bring down this road and it'll take you right down to Newberry where you can probably find a BB and T. And in this catch, probably easiest where you catch 26 west or run it all the way to 85 in Spartanburg and run 85 all the way to 85. He ulti parted ways with us after breakfast, headed back to Lynchburg for work. I gave him 20 bucks for gas. He returned home without any of the good fireworks. Seemed to be a short ways uh, east of the Chattahoochee National Forest. Treasure! I found treasure! <laughs> and west. We're going west. Here's your back claws, Jim, Jock. That's my 
my problem. I, I can never remember to shake. Hey, fuck off. Don't come over here and try and shake on me. <laughs> fuck right off.
you We're trying to. You haven't won. You haven't won? All right. The only stop other rambling on. The only thing I'm going to say is a beer rita. It's a dose rita. It's the biggest margarita you're going to find in Gatlinburg. It is 45 ounces, all right? Three margaritas, one giant green glass. Yeah. A dose saggy. Uh, I mean, she's boy or girl? Girl. She's fine, man. Yeah, I'm that day. Um, anyway, yeah, you get the I just want a beer, man. Beer I just want a Bud Light. All right, there you go. You want a draft bottle? Draft is fine. Draft. All right, we have 32 and 20. All right. Uh, let me just Appetizers point. are right there. This one for you guys. Oh, the barbecue tachos. The barbecue nachos substitute tater tots. They're the shit. This is my dinner menu. Read it. Figure it out. If you have any stupid ass questions, I guess I'll answer it. All right? What do you want, man? Uh, I'll take a bottle of Bud Light. Bottle of Bud Light. 32 or 20? Or 12? 12. 12. Paying for yourself? Uh, oh yeah. You paying for him? Mm -hmm. That's awfully nice of you. What do you want? Yeah, I'm a nice guy that way. <laughs> yeah. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I drink those seconds. Heard that, man. Yeah, you got that. Good? You're good. You're gasoline. Come on. You're gasoline. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Amish, what the hell are they doing in this den of iniquity? Mmm, look at that. Those things ring proof? Huh? Yep. Steel inside, steel frame in them, no collapse, no bad coming in. Made in China? Oh, I'm sure everything is. Wake up, Joe. How comfortable is that seat? Very? Very? <laughs> Probably more comfortable than my tent. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Wake up, baby, the same way. Like he used any stakes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck off. Joey didn't cuddle with me last night. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, he slept in comfort on a king size truck seat. <laughs> Chevy just can't wait to get home. <laughs> yeah, it looks all eager. Eager to get to the next part store. <laughs> Fuck a holy carburetor. Last day, homeward bound.
arrived back where we started at dusk. Surprisingly, Red Man's truck made it a whole day without a breakdown. Five days on the road, and all I want to do is ride out for another five. behind us were they? <laughs> uh, Alright, cut. Fucking cut. <laughs> 